The boss starts from zero again. Different when we get to the final, it all counts in, but for the qualifying rounds. Bram comes into the arena, sticking with the same four horses that he's had a great season with so far. So nearly his in Maastricht, just had that extra loop in one of the final obstacles. Pressure was on between him and the reigning champion, Boyd Excel. And the clock is ticking, but Bram is wasting no time in getting going. He's got a job to do. His fourth round in Geneva. His event for the taking. Can he do it again? Horse is looking as fresh and keen as when they first stepped into the Pal Expo Arena yesterday, late afternoon. Blowing, keeping the momentum up. Look how much those outside horses, particularly the leaders, are leaning in. It's so streamlined. Tight onto those gates. Every tenth of a second counts. Great line there, really good line from Bram. That was very impressive through F. Super. Everything's rocking in this arena as Bram Chardon enters the second half of his drive-off in Geneva. Number 10, tight, but the ball stays on top. A. Switch to the left rein, but they lose nothing when they dart between left and right. D already. Gosh, they're responsive. So quick to respond. That was one of the things he was saying. Incredible, incredible. He's nearly there. He's nearly there. 14, the water, nothing to add so far. The time looks so fast. Bram Chardon out through 15 and just listen to the roars. 11.16 in a drive off at this level. History is being made right before us. An incredible show of brilliance with these horses, Bram the team around him, the pressure, and yet every time it gets better and better. The concentration in the moment, the precision on those reins, the responses from these brilliant horses, If the atmosphere and the warmth from the crowd could get any more, it just has. Whoa. That's what it means, 141.97 for Bram Chardon. We have our winner three years in a row in Geneva. One of 